going back to Hawaii. She's not coming, but I wish she was. <laughs> See ya! We just got through security and we are making our way to the gate. Are you excited to go on the plane, Athena? <laughs> Gigi got a guest pass, so she's coming with us. Thank God, because literally, like, on the way here to Chicago, it was so hard for me to carry everything. Like, she's just, like, so helpful. So this is going to be exciting. What's so nice about having her here with me is, like, I can go get drinks and my mom can hold Athena while I go to the bathroom. Or if I'm changing Athena, I can leave all my stuff. So it's, like, super nice because... Last time, I felt like I was just carrying everything to the bathroom when I had to change her, and it felt like such a hassle. So I really appreciated having someone there with me until we actually got on the flight. Athena, say hi. We just got on the plane, and we're in the back. Um, it's easier to go to the bathroom and change her and stuff, so super nice. breastfeed in public but I figured okay my child's hungry and she's fidgeting and really needs some food so get her on as soon as possible and on this flight that's what I really did so I was sitting across from another family as well so they understood they had children and it was just super nice because I felt comfortable so if you are nervous don't be it'll be fine and don't care what other people think because if your child needs to eat they need to eat and it's actually not that bad on a plane. I feel like that was the only way I really helped Athena to pay attention to that instead of paying attention to that when we were on a plane. And like, she really didn't cry, like maybe once or twice on each flight, but she was super good. And I think it was mostly because I was breastfeeding her or feeding her, whatever way you want to do it. Another thing that was super hard was keeping these masks on because I feel like I couldn't breathe and if Athena did start crying I felt like I was sweating and it was just such a hassle so I tried to make it work but it really does make it hard when you have a baby and you have to wear these masks so I'm with you guys if you guys need anything please let me know. Um, it definitely was different so my first time on a flight with a baby and really like noticing how hard it is plus wearing a mask so anyone that's going through this in this time it is super difficult but if you make it work and my baby was super good and I'm sure yours will be super good so don't worry about that aspect of it it'll all be okay another thing I want to talk to you guys is they did add changing tables on the plane you're not allowed to change them in the seats anymore so those changing tables definitely bring like a blanket a swaddle anything that you can lay down to put them on there and it's super hard so I brought like a little blanket extra to place her head on as well what was really nice about the plane ride was she was super tired. I don't know if it was the movement or what, but she slept most of the time, so that was amazing. But when we did get home, that was a different story. We are landing in Oakland. It's a good four hours. Athena was such a good girl, right? We're getting off the plane. We have a layover in Oakland for three and a half hours, so we'll see how this goes. I will talk about it later in the video. Hi! <laughs> we are on our way to Hawaii now. 
I got Athena sleeping most of the time, but she really was tired because the time zones were so different from Chicago to Hawaii. So here it was like 11 p.m. in Chicago and she was so used to that time zone. So when we got home, it was such a struggle because she thought it was morning. Hello, Krumka family. So just a little recap on that video. Uh, traveling with a baby was super, super fun and super challenging alone, but I did learn a lot. So one big thing I recommend is going in light on the plane. Just bring that diaper bag, bring a change of clothes for you guys as well in the diaper bag. And just look back at my other video of the diaper bag to see what you need inside. But it was super fun. I got Athena to sleep most of the time, so that was super helpful. And then another big thing is the changing tables on the plane because you have to change them in the bathroom now. It's super tight, but just bring like a couple blankets, swaddles I used to use for her, and I use one as a pillow and one as like a changing table pad type thing or you can bring like a portable changing table pad which is super helpful so there's just like little things you need on the plane and i brought a lot of toys for her to keep her distracted because she really loves them but feeding 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 is huge so if you are breastfeeding and you're going to take off on the plane i found that to be a huge help and then she slept for like a good two hours on the plane woke up and i had to distract her a little bit but it wasn't bad like the whole plane ride as a whole was not bad. And then coming home, the hours that changed for her, seeing that it's a five hour difference in Chicago to Hawaii, Chicago is five hours ahead of us. So when we got back here, she was like straight crying for like a good 30 minutes, which I've never seen her cry like this. So I was super confused and really just like, what is going on? But I rocked her, rocked her, and it seemed to be that she was super overtired. So I finally got her down and she slept the rest of the night. I think it was the time change and she was very confused or I don't know what, maybe she slept too much on the plane. She just got overtired. I have no idea, but she ended up being fine the next couple days. So I think that was a big transition for her too. But other than that, it was such a good time and we had so much fun. I learned so much from it. And if you wanna know anything else, please let me know. The big things that you got from this today are just packing your diaper bag, which you'll see my video that I posted before this. And then another thing is really getting them to sleep, how I managed to occupy them on the plane and not have them cry. So if you do have any other questions, leave your comments below. If not, I hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you soon. Krumka family out.